Hello friends, welcome to yet another lecture of chemical engineering thermodynamics and today we are going to study about equations of state three parameter models. Now, uh, if you look into the playlist that I have put that uh, we had already discussed about three parameter models where we had discussed it uh, in relation to the theory of corresponding states where the two parameters were critical temperature and critical temperature and the third parameter was omega that is the eccentric factor. Now similarly if you go to see the cubic equation of states the first cubic equation of state that was introduced was the van der Waals equation of state. It was a two parameter model where the parameters were A and B. But these parameters could ultimately be related to the critical temperature and the critical pressure. Therefore, we can say that the two parameters in a van der Waals equation of state are the critical pressure and the critical temperature. Now, as the model development of cubic equation of states went ahead, we had cubic equations of state which were three parameter models. They were developed. So the three parameters here in the sovey redlich kong equation of state, which is a three parameter equation of state, cubic equation of state model, are critical pressure, critical temperature, and omega. The form of equation is given here that is P is equal to RT V cap minus B minus A which is a function of temperature V cap into V cap plus B. Now A which is a function of temperature is a product of 0.42748 R square TC square PC into alpha t, where alpha t in turn is a function of kappa critical temperature and the temperature at which we are interested. B is 0 0.08664 RTC by PC. Now, this equation of state is widely in use. It is even used today in simulators to predict volumetric properties and enthalpies of pure components and mixtures. Now let's understand this model further. When we solve a cubic equation of state, let us say we put the pressure and the temperature the pressure and the temperature which lies for a fluid in the superheated vapor region. We will get only one real root and the two roots that this cubic of equation of state will give us will be complex roots. But if we solve this cubic equation of state for the saturated vapor pressure and the saturated temperature, we will get three roots. The smallest root will be the saturated liquid volume. The biggest root is the saturated vapor volume. And we will get one root which lies in between these two roots which is known as the mixture volume. We can further understand this by taking a problem. Let's say if we want to use this equation to calculate the volume of water at 0.5 megapascal and 800 degrees Celsius. The pressure obviously is very low and the temperature very high. So, 
the water is going to be nothing but a superheated vapor. The critical temperature and critical pressure of water are given. The value of R is also given. This is a particular gas constant. We call it a, call it a particular gas constant. This R is for water. The universal gas constant applies to all gases. But if we take the universal gas constant and in the denominator we replace the kilo mole by the molecular weight, we get the particular gas constant. And the omega for water is 0.344. Now I have done this calculation using WX Maxima, which is an excellent tool to demonstrate calculations. So let's go to it and let me open my workbook. Well, as you can see here, the pressure and temperature taken for the calculation are 0.5 megapascal that is 500 kilopascal and 800 degrees Celsius that is 1073.15 Kelvin. Now the value of kappa is calculated here. It is 0.99925. The value of alpha, square root of alpha T calculated is 0 0.50755. The value of A that is this A which is here in the equation of state comes out to be 0.8769 and the value of B is 0.001172. Now we substitute all these values in the sovey redley kong equation of state and we get the equation of state here. Now we solve the resulting cubic equation of state and we find that we get three volumes. As indicated earlier, that the pressure and temperature chosen are such that the fluid falls in the saturated vapor region. Therefore, we find that the root is you have one real root and you have two complex roots. The one real root is the volume of the vapor and it is 0 0.9899. Now, let's do a quick comparison. 0 0.9899 is the calculated vapor volume. Now we read the value from the steam table and we see we are fairly close. Therefore this demonstration is a proof enough that this equation is far more superior to Van der Waals equation of state and can predict volumes which are quite accurate. Well. Now let's take the second demonstration of this. Let's calculate the liquid and vapor volume at saturated condition for water. We choose the pressure as 2.319 megapascals and the temperature as 220 degrees Celsius. Again, I have solved this problem in WX Maxima. So let's go and have a look at the calculations. The pressure is 2319.6 kilopascals and the temperature is 220 plus 273.15 that is 493.15. We calculate the value of kappa that is 0 0.999 and the value of alpha which is 1.2699.
we calculate the value of A, which turns out to be 2.194, and the value of B, which is 0.001172. Now we replace all these values or substitute all these values in the Sovey Redlich Kong equation of state once again. And we solve it. What do we find? We find that we get three real roots. The highest root, that is 0.8892, is the saturated vapor volume. The lowest root, that is 0.00165, is the saturated liquid volume. Now let's make a comparison. Point zero zero one six five is the saturated liquid volume, and point zero eight eight nine two is the saturated vapor volume. Comparing it with the values in the steam table, we find that we are once again are quite close to what is reported in the steam table. We are very much within ten percent of the error. In either case, either it is in the liquid volume case or in the vapor volume case. So therefore you find that cubic equations of state, especially the Sovey Redlich Kong equation of state, is able to very well predict the volumetric properties and it does help us in knowing when we take the pressure and temperature whether the gas or whether the fluid lies in a superheated vapor region or it is a boiling fluid. Now let's look at the demonstration of another equation of state. That is the Peng Robinson equation of state. Now this is of course further to the Sovi Red Lich Kong equation of state and the equation is P is equal to RT V bar minus B minus AT and you can see in the denominator we have V bar V bar plus B plus B V bar minus B where the value of A, B, alpha T and kappa are given. So if you go to see the structure of the equation is quite close to the Van der Waals equation itself. Whether be it Peng Robinson equation of state or Sovey Redlich Kong equation of state, the structure of the equation is that of Van der Waals equation of state itself. And the advancements that have been made or the improvements that have been made are in the prediction of the intermolecular forces of attraction. Where this term, this term represents the Intermolecular forces of attraction. In Sovey Redlich Kong equation 2, this term represents the molecular forces of attraction. Now, let's repeat this calculation we had done last time. What do we find for Peng Robinson equation of state? For Peng Robinson equation of state, we find that the predicted volume for water, which now obviously is at saturated vapor state, at 0.5 megapascal and 800 degrees Celsius, the predicted volume is or calculated volume is 0.9894, which is very close to 0.9897, which is reported in the steam table. How does it do on the two phase region or the boiling region? Let's have a look. So the calculated liquid and vapor volume at saturated condition at 2.319 megapascal and 220 degrees Celsius is the calculated liquid volume is 0.00165 which is fairly close to 0.00146 of the that given in the steam table. What we also find in the vapor volume? The vapor volume predicted is very close to. It is an improvement both Sovey Redlich Kong and both and Peng Robinson equation they give fairly good estimates 
of the state variables that we are interested in calculating. Cubic equation of states today are very popular. They are used in modern simulators too. And they have a good engineering accuracy for calculating values of volume which are of interest to the engineers. This was all about cubic equation of state. If you have any doubts, please put it in the comment section. And do write in the comment section what are the topics you are interested in which further videos need to be made. This will help me in making videos which are relevant to you. Have a great day guys. Bye and have a nice time.